What's going on guys? I hope this video finds you happy and healthy. I am on my way to Costco because I ran out of some staple items that I only get at Costco. I will not get these items anywhere else because I cannot find better prices on these items anywhere else. So I figured I'd film it for you guys. These items that I get at Costco are very healthy and like I said, I will not buy them anywhere else, not even on Amazon. By the way, sorry for the disheveled look. I just literally finished working out and I realized that it was later in the day and I was like, shoot, I gotta, I gotta go to Costco before it gets too late. It's about 3 p.m. and I'm losing light. It's still winter time and so the sun goes down at like 4.30 still here in the Pacific Northwest and it is pouring rain so I, I don't have good lighting anyway so I want to get home get all my stuff for you guys lay it out explain what I got but in the meantime though before that I'm gonna take you into Costco and show you uh, what I'm getting but I also want to show you all their items that they have right now that are super healthy that I want to buy but I'm on a budget so I'm gonna show you everything that I would buy and the prices on them too before we get any further into the video make sure you hit the subscribe button down down below for more healthy living videos. I upload one to two a week based on my work schedule. I'm a busy ICU nurse, so some weeks are crazier than others. All right, so welcome to the video, and I will see you in a minute. Be strong. Be strong. I'm heading into Costco and I need to warn you guys ahead of time, there were quite a few Costco workers restocking the shelves at this time of day. So the video is a little bit choppy because I was trying to hide my camera from them. But I am heading into the appliances, the kitchen appliances section because we only buy our kitchen stuff from Costco because really good prices and you can return them and get a full refund from them. Ninja Blender, really good price, $70 for that. This kettle boiler, really good price, $24 for that. That. I actually want to get one of those someday maybe someday soon um, also I only get Tupperware for lunches from them too that's a glass Tupperware and then it has like a plastic snap lid on top it holds salads um, even liquids really well it doesn't spill at all so really like their Tupperware I'm taking you guys to the pan set that I bought last month and did a video on it and I've been using these pans every single day and I absolutely love them. So if you need more non-stick pans, buy this set. It is very durable. I really like the quality. Okay, so onto the food. Trulies, I love my hard seltzers. Really good price for 30 of those. Can't find that price anywhere else. They also have like another brand, their own brand of seltzers too. That's a good price. Produce, I like buying produce from them, especially like broccoli and the cruciferous vegetables. Quality is always right on point. And if you get home and you don't like the quality, you can always return it in with a full refund. Sauerkraut, only buy from Costco, that huge tub is only six dollars and for a fourth of that at the grocery store is six dollars so only buy sauerkraut at costco so i only buy my nuts and seeds at costco because the prices i just can't find better prices anywhere else these sprouted pumpkin seeds they had discontinued them for a while and they just brought them back so i was very excited to see those again coconut oil if you need more coconut oil buy it at costco that huge huge tub 14 dollars, which is unheard of you guys know I like my pork rinds and this big bag of chicharrones is very cheap. I believe $10, but I was trying to hide my camera from the workers so I couldn't bring my camera all the way out, but still very good price for that big bag. Also spindrifts, I only buy at Costco. Okay, you guys, toilet paper and paper towels, we do not buy anywhere else. Hands down, Costco has the best prices on toilet paper and paper towels and you can get a huge thing of both. It'll last you forever. The other thing we only buy at Costco is kitty litter. These bags are 42 pound bags for $10 and so the price is unbeatable. So heading on over to the coffee, we normally don't buy our coffee at Costco, but I'm gonna start doing it because these prices are really good. $10, $11 for fair trade organic coffee beans is really good. Always buy my nut butters at Costco. Organic almond butter, that big jar, let's see what it is. Oh, $12, so for like a third of that at the grocery store is $12. They have this like mixed nut butter too right there that's really good. Moving on to the dried fruit. I only buy my dried fruit at Costco. Really high quality, organic, no preservatives. Later on in the video, I'll explain why I buy dried mangoes, but I buy their figs, their dates all the time. It's a huge, big bag. Those prices, unbeatable, of course. They have a whole bunch of dried other stuff like dried coconut and prunes. 
Um, and then I want to show you guys the almond flour right to your right there. I, there was a bunch of workers around me, so I couldn't show you the price, but really good price on big almond flour. Like the coconut oil, all of their other oils are really good price, really high quality. I only buy the avocado oil from them because it's a huge container. And I've never seen this avocado oil. I think it's a combination of a few different oils, but all heart healthy oils for $12. So really good price, it's a huge jar. Um, you wanna stay away from you know the vegetable oils there, but avocado spray that comes in at two jars for $11, really good price. And I only buy my monk fruit sweetener from them. I really like that company, $9 for that huge bag. This is my favorite, all time favorite snack are plantain chips. These plantain chips, you guys are so, so good. Tastes exactly like potato kettle chips. And I got two of them because it looked like they were running out. $6 for that huge bag. And you guys know I love my Rouse tomato sauce. That's my favorite spaghetti sauce and it comes in a two pack for $10. And one of those at the grocery store is $10. So really good price on that. All of their canned fish, canned meat is really well priced and really high quality. So I only buy like my canned tuna and sardines from Costco. Coconut aminos, really good price for that really big jar, $10. And half of that jar, like at Trader Joe's, would be about that price. I really like PB Fit, that powdered peanut butter. That huge jar, $12. So I only buy my powdered peanut butter from uh, Costco. And then moving on to the protein powder. So I only buy my protein powders from Costco, nowhere else. This is my favorite protein powder so far that I've tried. I don't eat any dairy or whey, so it's tricky for me to find a protein powder that I like, but I only buy my protein powders from Costco. My husband only buys his protein powders from Costco too, because he can actually eat the whey protein powder, so he buys the Costco brand. Vital Proteins Powder, you guys, you guys know I love my collagen powder, only buy it at Costco. I can't even find a better price on Amazon for that huge jar. And then I'm gonna be moving to the nut section here. Cashews is my favorite nut, and they have a big jar of organic cashews for very good price, and so I always buy my nuts at Costco. All my nuts, seeds, and dried fruit, always buy it at Costco. Really high quality, and you can buy it all in bulk. All right, you guys, so I'm back from Costco, and I wanna point out the things that I only get at Costco and I don't get these things anywhere else. And I tried to point out to you guys in the previous clips um, everything that I normally get at Costco. I did get some additional items, so I'll point those out at the end of the video, but let me go over some of the things that I only get at Costco nowhere else because I cannot find a cheaper price anywhere else, not even on Amazon. So first of all, as you guys know, who've been following my videos for a while, Vital Proteins Powder, this stuff, is amazing. <laughs> I put this in my coffee, it's unflavored, mixes very well in hot drinks, hot tea, hot coffee, um, smoothies, yogurt. So really, really good for your hair, skin, nails, and joints. So I really like this a lot. <laughs> Costco had it for $23 last month and they increased the price to $29, but this is a gigantic thing. But half of this, like at Target I've seen it, at grocery stores, it is like $30 for half the price, still good price at Costco, so I only get it at Costco. Amazon is even more expensive, so it's a must. The next thing that I only get at Costco is this protein powder. I don't eat any dairy or whey, and this is a very cheap price at Costco compared to other prices that I've seen. I like this brand so far. This is my favorite protein powder so far that's vegan. Vegan protein powders, as probably some of you guys know, are tricky because they're gritty sometimes, and this one, the texture is pretty good. It's pretty smooth, and it's sweetened with all organic stuff and it's got a whole bunch of like superfoods in it too. So I really like this one and it mixes really well in like pancake mixes and smoothies and yogurts. So really like this a lot. Price is really good. Costco's nuts, seeds, dried fruit. Oh my gosh, the price is unbeatable. So I really try not to buy any nuts or seeds at any other store, only Costco. So fantastic price on organic nuts. I really like cashews. I use cashews a lot to make dressings and I just eat them plain because I just love cashews, they're my favorite nut. So for this big thing, I can't remember the price, but you guys will know by now because I showed you in the clips, but super good. Oh, these they brought back. I was very excited to see these. 
they didn't have these for a few months and now they have them back. So like I said, all seeds, nuts, dried fruit, really good prices. I think this was $6, that's unheard of. I've never seen this big pack at grocery stores before, probably like fourth of the size I've seen it at grocery stores. And it's the same price, probably $8 actually for a little one at the grocery store. And I really like seeds that are sprouted because it's literally seeds that are about to grow into a plant. And so their nutrients are more like bioavailable to our bodies when we eat the seeds. So these are actually healthier than unsprouted seeds or like regular seeds. So. There's a tip for you. If you find sprouted seeds, buy them instead of regular seeds. I'm almost out of dried mangoes. I really like dried mangoes because they taste like candy to me, like sour strips or like gummies. So I eat these when I'm craving something sweet or something like candy-like. They brought these back too. They haven't had these for a few months. Super good price on these. The grocery store for half this bag is just the same price as this whole bag at Costco. I didn't need these, but if I want pork rinds, I always buy them at Costco because the price is so good. I like this brand. They humanly raise their pork. It's a good company and all the ingredients are really clean and it's slightly sweetened with coconut sugar. So good clean ingredients, really tasty. The other thing that I just, have to get every single time I go to Costco are their plantain chips. I bought two of them. These are so, so good. Taste just like potato chips. Taste exactly like kettle potato chips. And they're really good for you because all they are are organic plantain chips. Um, probably if you can see the ingredients, there's three ingredients there. That's it. Coconut oil and salt and that's it. Super good. And they are lower carb, so they're healthy for you, more healthy than potato chips. Really like these. The other thing that I need to start buying more often at Costco is the coffee. This whole thing, I only buy organic fair trade. This whole thing was $10, I think maybe 10 or $11. That's unheard of at the grocery store. And we buy whole bean coffee because we have a grinder that we like. So we like to grind our own coffee. This is super, super good price. I'm excited. I've never had this before, this brand, so I'm excited to try it. So the last thing that I wanna point out that we pretty much only get at Costco is their beef jerky. We didn't need any beef jerky this time, but this caught my eye and I wanted to try it. We normally get beef sticks at Trader Joe's, but they're very expensive. Um, this one, I believe, was 14 or $15, so a little bit still on the pricey side, but not as bad as like buying them individually, like Trader Joe's. So they're grass-fed, clean ingredients, no sugar. So I'm excited to try these. They really have good prices on their beef jerky and beef jerky can be very expensive. So try to buy all your beef jerky if you're into that at Costco. So then they just the added extras I bought today because I needed more celery over here. They have uh, really good prices on, on celery. I like that they're the celery hearts and not that doesn't have like the extra leaves on it just because I'm kind of lazy sometimes. So bought three packages of those and they always have really good prices on their produce. But this is just broccoli. I like to buy the broccoli from them. And then also if like the produce is bad or you're not satisfied with it, you can return it and they'll give you your money back and they're really nice about it. So it's really kind of a, a nice relief to buy produce from Costco knowing that if it's bad, you can return it. And then of course, frozen vegetables, always, as you guys know, this whole bag was only $10, so that's a really good price, and it's organic too, which I like. And then the last added thing that I got is this. Just because we were interested in trying the IV liquid packets, if you guys have heard of that, but I didn't realize they have cane sugar and dextrose in them, and quite a bit for a little package. So this one doesn't have any sugar in it. It's also cheaper. It's probably, I think, $7 cheaper than the Ivy liquid stuff. Uh, the only thing is it is sweetened with a little bit of sucralose, but it doesn't seem like it's that much. Sucralose is not very good for your gut health, but I think it's better than having cane sugar and dextrose. So Josh was interested in trying it. I'm interested in trying it too. So we'll give this a shot. I think this whole thing was $23 and it's advertised as immune boosting. We want to drink more water every day, so this might be a nice strategy to maybe flavor our water a little bit. All right, so that's it for the video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button if you liked it. I hope this video helped you kind of decide if you're going to Costco what essentials that you need in your life that are a good price. Comment down below if you have any essentials that you have to buy at Costco for yourself every single time you go, and remember to always be kind to yourself.